This is a, an LED flashlight and these things are incredibly cheap. Uh, this would have been a pound probably and uh, that's a couple of US dollars and it's very very simple. It's just uh, a lithium coin cell in the middle there and an LED and they even use the leg of the LED as a sort of crude switch to switch it on and off. Now putting an LED directly across the terminals of a battery isn't generally speaking a very sensible thing to do because LEDs are very fussy about the amount of current that flows through them but this is one of those situations which is kind of a lucky coincidence the voltage of the battery just happens to sit at a point on the LED's uh, voltage and current curve which is a kind of sweet spot where you get lots of brightness but not so much that the LED is going to damage itself. And this got me thinking. I wonder if it's possible to do the same sort of thing as this but with a much more powerful LED. I wonder if it's possible to do it with a 100 watt LED. Now this is one of the most powerful LEDs you can buy at a reasonable price and the price of this 100 watt LED has been falling quite a lot in recent months and I got this one for £4.79 which is about $8 I think or well, certainly less than $10 so this is the one, it's a 100 watt warm white LED, high power, £4.79 and the seller is top web. Now there's some basic uh, technical data here. Working voltage is DC 32 to 34 volts, working current 3000 milliamps, that's 3 amps, and the luminous flux is 7,500 lumens. Now the question is, what power source is going to hit this LED's sweet spot and uh, get it to light up brightly but not so bright that it burns itself out? And I came up with this idea. So what I've got here are two of these Ryobi nickel cadmium 18 volt power tool batteries. Now if I wire these two in series I'm going to get uh, 36 volts but actually you do get a bit more because when these are fully charged when you measure them with a, a DVM they're about 20 volts so we're going to get about 40 volts but if I draw a fair bit of current from these batteries I'm hoping that that voltage will drop and drop down into the sweet spot for this LED. So is this going to work? Well, there's only one way to find out. So what I've done is I've balanced a piece of copper wire between the terminals of the batteries. So on these outer terminals here we've got uh, 36 volts and I've soldered a couple of wires onto my LED and let's see what happens. Well that completely killed the camera is it going to come back? I don't know. Uh, so fortunately the camera survived that um, but I'm just going to do it again with it not pointing directly at the lens so that you can see that it does actually work. Uh, I've switched it all around the other way around this time but here we go. And there it is, the LED comes on. Now the LED gets extremely hot very very quickly so you can only put it on for a couple of seconds now if I touch the back of the LED, oh yeah that's far too hot to touch. So it's going to need some sort of heat sink. So yeah it seems that you can connect uh, a 100 watt LED directly across the terminals of two 18 volt nickel cadmium power tool batteries. So now I'm going to build the world's cheapest 100 watt LED flashlight. So what do we need? Well uh, a piece of wood which I've cut two holes in, shaped to fit over the two uh, batteries, so they're kind of locked together. A uh, piece of metal here, which was in a skip outside a engineering company. Uh, I've cut some holes in that and mounted the LED onto it. Now that will work as a kind of heat sink, 
It won't do much, but it will mean that instead of turning the LED on for about two seconds, I should be able to turn it on for 10 or 20 seconds. And I've got this reel of uh, twin and earth mains cable, which I'm going to strip back and use the copper wire to make little connectors for the batteries as they push through the holes in the piece of wood. And so here it is, the finished product. You can see I've used the uh, copper wire there to make battery connections. There's the bracket with the LED on it. Now, I'm calling this my $10 uh, 100 watt LED flashlight. Of course, at that price, batteries are most definitely not included. Anyway, let's put the batteries in and see what we get. So I have to push this down onto the batteries so that the connections make contact. I can't really do that one handed, so I'll finish that off. So there it is with the batteries installed. I've uh, loosened one of the copper wires so I can use that as a switch. So press that and the flashlight comes on. And uh, you can see that's the finished 100 watt LED flashlight.